Hello, welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. I'm Roadkill, and today we will be flying from Portland, Oregon to Kalispell, Montana uh, in this DC-3. I've been waiting to fly this aircraft for a long time. This is one of my favorite airplanes of all time, so I'm really excited to give it a go. Um, I've got it loaded up and started up on the runway because I'm not too familiar with the startup procedures. Uh, I tried it earlier and I crashed. My engine died, so I need to do some research on that before I get to flying. But uh, this one is retrofitted with a nav computer, so I can use that and use GPS to fly it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to fly. This aircraft, I've been waiting a long time for it. Um, before we get started, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so that you can keep up to date on all my latest videos. Also, leave a comment down below on what your favorite aircraft is on the 40th year anniversary update for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I know this, this one was one of mine. Also, the Spruce Goose. I kind of want to fly that one. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below which one most excited to fly. With that all out of the way, let's get to flying. set my joystick up I'm just moving moving stuff around so that it all it all reads I'm gonna lock the tail wheel here just want to make sure we're full mixture um, I do want some lights on in the cockpit because it's kind of dark we are gonna turn on lights I thought I had more lights but I guess I don't I may. There's lots of switches in this thing. Okay, well, we're gonna take off now. Um, hold on, buckle up. You know, I, I should set the altitude. I'm gonna set the altitude before I take off. I wanna go to about 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet would be awesome. 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, we'll do 10,100. Uh, we are on GPS, so we are good to go. Once we get the uh, plane off the ground, we'll uh, hit that autopilot on, and hopefully, I did forget to open these. We need to open these. So we don't burn our engines up. All right, here we go. Man, this plane sounds amazing. It gives me goosebumps. And we are off already. Wow, that thing takes off nice. I thought it'd take a little more runway to get off the ground, to be honest with you. Alright, there is KPDX down below. Alright, what's going on here? Why did it make that noise? I guess that's normal. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna get up in the air. Let's see where we are at. We need to cross the river, apparently. Alright. 
this is awesome. So excited to fly this, you don't even know. This is such a cool aircraft. I'm going to see what happens when I hit the autopilot. Altitude and nav. I wanted 10,000 feet, but I guess we will uh, turn the autopilot off until I fly it up there. I don't want to crash. I do want to fly towards our waypoint though. This way, I was hoping we could see Mount Hood off in the distance, but it's kind of cloudy. Can't even see Mount St. Helens. Kind of socked in with clouds, that's too bad. Oh well. Pilot, and we're gonna go to nav, and we're gonna make this go up. All right. I could probably, well, I don't know yet. I just, I'll wait till the engines cool down a bit before I do that. I'm gonna bring this back a bit. thousand feet so that's what we'll do just trying to figure out this autopilot here as we fly I've never messed with this unit before so I think it's the same one I have in the beach crap but I could be wrong it just has different buttons on it different colored buttons so I think it just looks different I can only go up 9,900 huh We're climbing, so that's good. While we climb, I might as well jump out and uh, do some external views. Okay, well we are at 10,100 feet, and it looks like we've got, go down here on the GPS, we look at the estimated time of arrival, which is an hour and 36 minutes. I'll definitely be editing out uh, some of the, the video here, so you're not stuck in the aircraft for an hour and a half. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna fly this bad boy over this mountain range, hopefully, and um, uh, have some fun looking at the views. Looks like we've got Mount Adams there to our left, unless that's Rainier. 
I think that's Adams right there. St. Helens is over there. Is that St. Helens or is that a cloud? Let's look out here. Yeah, I'm not seeing St. Helens. Where is St. Helens? Right here? I think it's right there. Hidden. Yeah, that looks like Mount Adams. And we have Mount Hood right there. Off in the distance. I love the detail on this plane. There's little dust specks on the glass. Oh, there's somebody. Got an airliner flying in front of us. Let's take an outside view here. They must be heading to Seattle. I'd like to get the, keep saying it, the next purchase I'm getting is the Toby Eye Tracker. It's be so much easier than this hat. Hat switcher, hat joystick that I'm using. I'm just checking out the, uh, the cockpit here, just seeing what we got. Looks like we've got radios back there, nav navigation radio. I don't know what that is. Interesting. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to close the cowlings or cow flaps. Close. Close. I wonder what the tail. Open tail. I wonder what the tail does. There's a lot to learn on this aircraft. I'm going to do it though. I'm hoping I can land it. I don't know. It took off pretty easy. I don't know if it lands easy, though. We'll find out.
Okay, I just wanted to check in with y'all. We are flying over some pretty farmland here. Some scattered clouds out off in the distance, and we're just, just cruising along here. I've been uh, checking out the different gauges and whatnot in the cockpit. Just trying to get familiar with it before I do any more flights with this aircraft. And, you know, I uh, realized I had my props up a little too, too high, and so I, I lowered them down. I was checking out these gauges and I saw that there is a temperature increase and I'm like, why is that happening? And I realized that my props were, were too high. I dropped the mixture down um, to auto mixture is what it said. Auto mixture, I don't know what that does, but it seems to like it. It's kind of just purring along here and uh, got about 48 minutes until we reach our destination so I figured I'd check in halfway there and uh, say hello and by the time I come back to you it'll be like two seconds but for me it'll be a while unless something crazy happens so uh, yeah I'll check back in with you in a little bit Okay, we are getting closer to Kalispell. We're about a half an hour outside of Kalispell. So we are going to kind of keep an eye on the clock and then uh, start our descent at about 12 minutes out. So yeah, I think what we're flying over here is know if it's Lake Coeur d'Alene or not. It could be. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're just a half an hour out of Kalispell, maybe a little shy of a half an hour, but we'll uh, be landing here shortly. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I can land this thing. I will be... I'll be kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie, when we start our final approach. But so far, this, this plane flies very nicely. Um, it's super cool. I love this plane. In fact, it might be, for the size, the size of it, it is probably my favorite plane to fly for the size of this. For a smaller aircraft, it's the Beechcraft 18. This is like a step up from the Beechcraft 18, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I might fly it more often, especially on long, long flights. But yeah, I'll uh, come back to you once we uh, get to our final approach.
It has been a beautiful flight from Portland, Oregon to Kalispell, Montana. That was Lake Coeur d'Alene back there, by the way. I was right on that. I'm not used to seeing it from the air as I usually drive through Coeur d'Alene rather than fly over it. And if I have flown over it in the past, I didn't notice it. Now I will, since I know the flight path and what it looks like from the air. It's kind of cool. I'm also, I've been thinking about getting the Google Earth mod for this to where we have the Google Earth satellite imagery rather than the Bing satellite imagery because I hear it's better. And I think my computer might be able to handle it. So I'm going to possibly down that, download that here in the near future. I don't know. We're about 19 minutes outside of Kalispell. And uh, it's been a pretty smooth flight. I'll come back to you once we get closer. We're about probably five minutes out. I'll uh, check back in with you unless... Unless I tune in when we start our descent. We'll see how things go. I'm not sure how the descent's going to go, being that we're in a mountainous area and I don't want to hit any mountains, but we'll, we'll play it by ear. I'll uh, see you here in a few. Okay, we are 15 minutes outside of Kalispell. We're just flying through some clouds here. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to jump back in and say hello. I know it's only been a couple seconds since I was last talking to you, but for me, it's been a little bit. Got some beautiful mountains off there to the left and obviously down below. Hitting a little bit of turbulence as we go through this patch here. But so far it's been a very smooth flight. And this is the most turbulence I think we've experienced. So, and that's kind of normal in real life. You start hitting the turbulence about here. And uh, I think it's because of all the mountains and the difference in train height below us. Looks like there's some snow over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see where my uh, my house is from from here. I know I always see flights coming from Portland, Oregon, or Seattle flying across the horizon past my house using the same same path that we're on now so I'm kind of keeping an eye out as we get closer to Kalispell to see if I can see my house from from up here should be kind of fun last time I went to to Portland Oregon uh, I was trying to find it when we flew flew back from there and I'm I I was sitting on the wrong side of the plane but right now we're on the right the right side of the plane looking out the left window which is where where my my dwelling is and I'm gonna try to see if I can see it from here which is always fun I'm thinking about 10 minutes out I'll start dropping altitude I usually do it about 12 minutes. Maybe I should do it about 12 minutes. Just do a nice slow descent down to probably 5,000 feet, I'm guessing. So once we hit the 12 minute mark, I'll start descending. We'll see. I don't know if that's exactly what you have to do, but I'm going to do it 5,000 feet here in about a minute or so. Hopefully I don't crash this into a uh, mountain.
All right, so we're about a minute away from descent. Getting very close to Kalispell. Trying to see if I uh, recognize any any landmarks. Now that could be McGregor Lake off there in the distance that I'm looking at there. Or Thompson, Upper Thompson. It's probably Upper Thompson. McGregor's down lower. We're getting close. All right, I'm gonna start our descent down to 5,000 feet. If it'll click, work. Not working. There we go. 5,000 feet altitude. Not sure why it's not doing it. Huh. I don't know how to program it. Okay, so I am declining that amount of altitude there. Per, per minute? I don't know. It's working though. So far. See if I can get the altitude to where I want it. Do 5,100. See if it levels off there at 5,100. I gotta watch airspeed. Should probably throttle back a bit. Yeah, I think that, those are the upper and lower Thompson Lakes there, and McGregor is ahead of us, I think. Ooh, we're getting some, getting some turbulence. Kind of rocking back and forth here. All right, I gotta keep an eye on altitude here. At right, 8,000 feet, and dropping. Yeah, that is Highway 2 down below us, headed towards Libby, Montana. I'm pretty sure 5,000 feet should, although you know what I didn't do? I didn't give us true altitude because I didn't put in the uh, parametric pressure into the uh, altimeter, so I may have to just hold it right here. We'll hold it right here for now, and then once we get closer, it looks like we'll make it over this mountain here. My altimeter is not reading true altitude that's okay I could tune into I wonder if I can tune into uh, Glacier International yet look in here up on my second monitor see if I can find KGPI and then if I can I can tune into the Addis and get the there it is okay we are nine miles west at 10,100 feet inbound runway 8 um I was kind of hoping they'd give me a weather report, but I'll just tune in or tune into the uh, tower. 
I was going to see if I could get true altitude, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm going to request a full stop landing at KGPI. And, uh, okay, altimeter is 29.92. I'm going to do that right now. I think this is it. Yep, 29.92. That'll give us true, true altitude. All right, 29.92. And I'll acknowledge flight pattern. Fly straight into runway two, 06 West. So that is where we are going. They get mixture up. Props up. I won't do the props all the way yet, but get ready to land here shortly. It looks like we are running through some clouds. That's okay. We're okay. We're high high up above the mountaintop, so we should be good. Unfortunately, well, maybe we'll be able to see where where my my place of dwelling is. Trying to get a bearing on where we are at. Might be Boys Lake over there to the right. Is that Boys Lake? That can't be Boys Lake. That's McGregor Lake right there. I don't know where I'm at. I know kind of where I'm at. Okay, I see the runway off in the distance right there. I'm trying to get a bearing on where I am at. I think I am living over here somewhere. That's Smith Lake right there. That must be Bitterroot. This is Bitterroot. This might be Bitterroot. I don't know where I'm at. Why am I talking with an accent? I don't know. That is the Flathead Valley right there. And that has to be Smith Lake there, Smith Valley means I'm off over here somewhere. Somewhere in the distance. That must be Ashley Lake up here. None of you know where all this is. I'm just looking. Yep, okay. I know where I'm at. That was definitely McGregor Lake right here. Yep. Well, we are about five minutes outside of KGPI. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing lands. I'm sorry if my movements left and right are, are super disorienting. I'll try not to do it much more if it is. Where I wish I had the Toby eye tracking, or at least virtual reality. Toby eye tracking is more affordable, and I can see my keyboard and mouse and everything else I use, so it's more practical. But 
So yeah, we are almost there. I am excited because this is my first full flight with this aircraft. And I'm telling you what, I really enjoy it. It is a lot of fun flying. And that there, I use the mouse. That there is Smith, Smith Lake, Smith Valley. Um, down here is Highway 2. And I'm off over here and underneath the cloud cover. But we should be flying. That's Kalispell right there. Kalispell, Montana. Off to the right over these hills is Flathead Lake. And, and my previous flights, flight videos, I have uh, flown over that. But this is the exact path that I see aircraft flying all the time over here. So I know that I'm right, right behind the cloud somewhere. That's where my, my home homestead is. Got Foy's Lake right here. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some more altitude. If it'll let me. Go down about 900 feet. So yeah, we are flying right over where I live and I should probably start turning in. I think of what I'm gonna do is turn autopilot off and to do stick and rudder it in. So yeah, off to the left here is my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. I'm gonna start turning right here. Cutting back power, propping all the way up. Well, I guess not. I don't need to prop all the way up yet. But yeah, there's my neighborhood down to the left. Kalispell's off to the right here. Right down there, there's the Kalispell Mall. I can't see the runway out of my my window, so I'm gonna lean over this way a little to get, get my bearings. I'm gonna throttle down some, because we're coming in hot, and I don't know how easy this thing is to land. Suppose I'll throw some flaps down. Slow us down a little more. We're going 160 miles an hour. We don't want to land at that. line with the that beeping shows that we're in line with the the runway unfortunately I'm used to flying in knots and not miles per hour so I'm not sure I'm guessing down to the the very left dial there is my miles per hour and I see a a yellow line there just between 100 and 120 miles an hour. I'm thinking that yellow line shows the stall line, so I want to keep it a little bit above that if I'm going to land safely. I've got two notches of flaps right now. notches of flaps. I'm going to cut back power so we drop in altitude. Sounds like the gear warning. They want the gear down. If I need to, I can give it more power. 
And if I crash land, it'll be a learning experience. Being this is probably the second time that I've ever landed this thing. And I remember it was kind of tricky to land. And I did radio in before before we started this approach. Man, I feel like I'm coming in too hot. But I don't know how long it takes to slow this thing down, so. It feels like it's beginning to stall, which is that yellow, that yellow line there. So I give it a little more power just to kind of keep it right there in that yellow. I am guessing as we go, this is my a newbie landing on a runway with the DC-3. Welcome to Kalispell, Montana. Hopefully you live long enough to enjoy it. If you're flying with me. All right, I'm cutting back throttle right now. Just to get the speed down a little. So I'm not rocketing in. I'm gonna throw another thing of flaps. Two flaps, three flaps, whatever I got. All the flaps I can muster. Back power. I'm just gonna drift in. And hopefully, land smoothly. Oh, we got touchdown! And oh boy, I forgot the tail wheel. Tail wheel's unlocked. Oh crap! Brake. Wow, that was not good. Oh, maybe I should have left the tail wheel locked. Sorry, uh, passengers. I uh, hope you fly with me again. I uh, almost crashed us. That was not a perfect landing, but it was pretty good for the first time landing this thing. So we made it to Kalispell. And uh, I'm going to park over there somewhere, I think get to the gates once we get up to this taxi taxiway we'll uh, request a gate parking and then we'll end the video it's really hard to see out of this cockpit alright we're going to turn the ground here See what they say. We're gonna taxi to gates. And they're saying to taxi to gate 38, so I'm gonna acknowledge that clearance. Should give me the blue lines. Taxi over this way. This is a decent representation of AGPI. It's small, it's a really small air airport and uh I am really enjoying the sounds of this aircraft. It just sounds amazing. Come on, gas truck, get out of the way. I'm just going to run you over. You're a moron, man. You should be fired. Fired, I say. Okay. We, I wonder if, I don't think, I wouldn't think the... I wouldn't think that would go up to the or I could be wrong. Right uh, here. I don't think it I'm gonna park it here. And then uh, see what happens here. I'm interested to see I don't think it will. 
it doesn't have the side entrance way it's not a big it's not a big jet so what we do here which is kind of cool it's an extra an extra feature that is on this aircraft we just open up all the doors let the passengers out by hitting those switches and there we go we got we've got ladders and luggage opened up and uh yeah, let's see what the ground services say here. Um, I'm just going to see if there's a jetway connection. I don't think there is. It'll probably say there isn't. Yeah, there isn't. It's not a big enough. Well, it's obvious because the door's in the back. But anyways, I'm just curious on what this EC3 does here. But yeah, that was a fun flight. I uh, really enjoyed... I really enjoyed flying this aircraft. It was a lot of fun. I'm, uh, I'm going to fly this a lot more. But anyways, thanks for joining me on this, this flight from Portland to Kalispell, Montana. I, uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and liking them and subscribing and, and even commenting more awesome if you want to get together and do like a group flight just give me a, a friend request my uh, gamer tag is n406w and just send me a re request on on uh, xbox or microsoft flight sim and we'll do some group flights i think that would be a lot of fun so yeah hit me up i'm rambling on again as usual but uh I hope you all have a great holiday and uh, a great new year. Stay safe and Godspeed.